Okay, YouTubers, we're back, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Seven Days to Die. We still have our broken-ass leg. We still have a smell on us because we don't care. Uh, just about everything you put in that's not in a can or a bottle is going to smell, so that's no big deal. But what we did yesterday, since we didn't have any sound recording because we had a cheap-ass USB keyboard plugged in, now we have back to our wireless because it works much better. We went out and shot some deer and some pig, and we gathered up some skins. We also went and did a little resource gathering, because I'm going to show you how to make something else. First thing we're going to do is gather up our items. We don't need the coal. We do need the skins. We also grabbed some iron fragments. Uh, that comes from the resource rocks that are outside. Uh, it is 7 o'clock at night. We're going to go ahead and make us a campfire first. So if you don't know how to make a campfire, this is the way to do it. And like I said, some of this stuff is going to be remedial and for beginners. But you know what? We all started somewhere, and that's what we are going to take care of. So you take your rocks, you put them in a nice little uh, circle sh or square shape, rectangular shape, whatever you want to call it. Put them right here. Hit the craft button. You have a campfire so we're gonna put that right here and yes the zombies are going batshit downstairs because that's what the zombies do we do not need those anymore we are going to take some of our wood that we worked our asses off for we did make a stone axe also and if you need to make a stone axe guys it's a piece of plant fiber it is a stick and it is a sharpened stone also, if you have these little short iron pipes that are in your inventory that you pick up from everywhere, you can craft these down into this. So you can throw them up there. You can take the tool that needs to be repaired. If you notice, you can go ahead and hit that button, and it will repair your tool. Because uh, those sticks are amazing. Okay. Now, first thing we're going to make, we have corn. We have a beaker. We need some moldy bread. We have no moldy bread. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and make some alcohol. Where is my corn, by the way? There's my corn. Alright, we're going to go ahead and make some ear cornmeal. And we don't do it like that. What you have to do is you have to throw it in. Because everybody does this. They take the big stack of corn or whatever corn they have, and they throw it in, and it turns into corn seed. It doesn't do any good. You have to split it up to make cornmeal. 50-50. One, one up here, one down here, or 10 down here, 10 down here. And you hit that. Got it. Now, we're going to stick this in here. We're going to put one of those in here. We're going to put one of these in here, and we're going to add some water. doing properly I don't know don't care so we're gonna go ahead and cook this off grain alcohol you need cornmeal and you need equal parts of water and you need a beaker you get that and you cook it and we're gonna wait because it's gonna take 20 minutes so we're going to go ahead and we're going to reduce this time down to one jar. It's going to take five minutes. There we go. Now we can put a stick in here. Like so. Put two sticks in here. And hit cook. And we're going to have one. Now we're cooking that off. We're going to go ahead and stick this stuff over here out of the way. Back where it goes. I don't really need to carry all this crap with me when I take off in the morning. And while this is cooking, we're going to go ahead and make some leather armor. We can make a leather jacket, some gloves, leather pants, and boots. We do have all the recipes. They are underneath your clothing little t-shirt symbol. And see, I've already made these. And it's telling me that we've already made those. We also have the iron helmet recipe, but I'm going to get all the iron stuff before I show you guys how to make that. So, well, first thing we need to do is we need to take our leather our skins they're called hides I believe and we're going to turn those into actual leather 
Next thing we need to do is we need to take a leather, the leather, and we need to place it in here. And see, that will make us two pair of boots. I've already made those, so it's going to fill in automatically. But when you first see it, it's going to be empty, and then you'll have to go like so. Hit craft, pair of boots. Then you're going to do the same thing for the gloves. One and one. It'll show you where to go, so just when you have the recipe, it will tell you if you can make it. Got it? Good. Leather jacket. You have to go around in this T-shape with your leather, just like so. Working so far? Yep. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make that uh, other leather stuff that we need to make. Because we got the jacket. Now we need leather pants. Leather pants are a little bit more difficult because they don't come out nearly as intuitive as you would think. So we're going to go ahead and finish this. Got it. Now the leather pants, we're going to go ahead and we put those in. If you notice, it is kind of a weird shape, but it does look like reminiscent of pants. So the first thing you need to do to make your pants is you need to hit each one of these holes with one like so and then there's your pants pretty darn simple right and then when you get all this stuff made you go ahead and you equip it just by sticking it where it goes just like so got it all right so we made our leather pants we're not going to throw that away because we actually had to kill pigs for it but now we're going to put our potassium nitrate away See how far along we are on our whiskey. We're making moonshine. And this is how you make a first aid kit while you're huddling in the dark waiting on your broken damn leg to heal. You're also having a little bit of sham. And yeah, I was having some, while we're sitting here watching the fire cook, I was actually having issues with my uh, with my sound, and the reason I was having issues with my sound was apparently this crappy keyboard I was telling you guys about the other day that I plugged back in to try, you know, so I could go with a wired connection because everybody kept telling me, yes, the wired connection is so much better. Well, I hate to tell you, yeah, but on a really crappy keyboard that comes with the uh, your computer when you first buy it I wouldn't recommend crappy keyboards at all now I'm using my Logitech wireless keyboard and it works fine if you notice you know everything is like dinky 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 dink and I'm recording just properly at exactly the right speed nothing is hanging up so it's working like it should and I didn't start having problems till I plugged it into the USB port in the back of my computer and I also noticed that it was muting itself on occasion yesterday, so I think the keyboard's just crap. And it's one of those, A. the name of it is AZA, A-Z-Z-A. -Z -Z -A. Do not buy one, I don't care what they say on the, on the internet. They're crap. You know, I think they're like 30 bucks on Amazon. Don't get one. Go with something a little bit more expensive. Spend the twenty five ninety five and at least get a cheap Logitech, okay? Because I know they work. Because I've never had a problem with any Logitech keyboards. I do have the uh, G602 wireless mouse. The wireless gamer mouse, I should say. And it is the shit. It is literally, totally the shit. And it's nice and responsive. If you notice the travel on it at 1000 DPI, it's from edge to edge on my screen. It's perfect. And the DPI is adjustable. And if you guys would like to hear a review about this mouse and some pictures, I will go ahead and post up uh, a little bit of a review for you. But, you know, let me know in the, in the comments below. That's why we always say like, subscribe, and comment. Now, we're just about done with our alcohol. We are done with our alcohol. So we're going to go ahead and pull that stuff out of there. I'm taking these beakers with me. I'm not taking this crap. I will take some of these empty jars, but now we've got this. So, you notice what we had to have? We had to have a blood bag. 
Mud bag. Now we're going to go up here to where the little plusy sign is. First aid kit. If you notice what we need, we need a bandage. So we need a piece of cloth. We're going to take the cloth, turn that into a simple bandage. Okay, got it? Now, we're going to turn this into a first aid kit. And the reason we're going to turn this blood into a first aid kit is the simple fact that it's like this. We put the blood there. We take our alcohol. We put our alcohol there. We also take our bandage, wherever the hell our bandage is, and we put it right there. We put it right there. So we got blood, grain alcohol, simple bandage. First aid kit. Now, if you notice, when we roll over this first aid kit, what's going to happen? It is the shit. It gives you 50% health back. It removes the effect of bleeding. It works 100% of the time. It also... You get a huge boost immediately when you do it, and then you get the other half of the boost ten se within 10 seconds after you apply it. It's not going to do anything for my leg, but it is going to help you out in the future whenever you're getting smacked by zombies in the head. So we're going to leave that right there. Now, blood draw kit. All right, here's how you make a blood bag. Take that. And if you notice, we're back up to six. But what it also does, it drains your health 25%. Watch. See, you lose 25 of your health whenever you do that. So you don't want to sit there and just stab yourself over and over and over again because it doesn't work that way. But the blood draw kits are cool. Probably should build a storage chest is what I should just go ahead and do. Because this is getting out of hand. Alright, we have our wood. Because I'm going to go ahead and leave this place as a uh, secure storage chest. Just hit that, and hit that, and drop that. And then we'll go ahead and just leave it next to this stupid box. Alright, we do not need blood draw kits back at our base. We do need the blood though. We're going to take that with us because those are hard to come by without having to make them yourself. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Blood draw kits. And we are going to take this corn with us. See if when you put the corn in your inventory it says that it smells. Yeah. We don't care about the wood. We don't care about the leather. We're going to leave that here. We do care about the jars. We're going to take those. We're going to take that. We don't need to take the eggs. See, we got everything stinky out of our inventory. Put that there. We're going to do a little inventory management while we do this. We also have small stones. We don't need those. And it is 3.09, so it's almost time to get the hell out of here. But we're going to go ahead and put that stuff away. We don't need the deer meat and crap to carry with us. We're going to put the alcohol here. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of this stuff. Put the rocks here. You know, we're just going to do a little tidying up. And then we're going to get ready to get the hell out of here. Because these zombies are going to bat shit. I probably don't need to take these uh, iron fragments. They come from the rocks outside also. Uh, resource rocks. You know what those are, right? 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 You know what those are, right? Uh, we did find a cylinder from 44 Magnum, which is cool. All right. So whenever it comes, rolls around to 7 o'clock, we are going to bolt the hell out of here. Because we have all this stuff put away here, so we got a nice little, uh, you know, rest stop. We got some pork, we got some venison we can cook if we need to. So if we're starving, we have jars for water. You know, we can go back and we can collect some water and throw it in the fire and cook it. We do need a cook pot, but that's not like the end of the world, okay? Have some sham. Yum, 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 yum.
stupid things. We're gonna put that away. Now. We're just gonna go go downstairs and go all medieval on them. I don't even care about these axes. Axes are cheap. So then I'm gonna go downstairs and bust some head. Yeah. I know. Don't need that stupid thing. Get the rest of that later. We will take the honey. Honey is a good thing. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just stay the hell out of here and keep wipe out the rest of these zombies. Got about eight, ten minutes. Now, where was that stupid airplane at? Gotcha. We'll just let her take that back to hell with her. So you don't need to carry all this crap around with you all the time. I'm just picking this stuff up so I can go back to, uh... And you notice my health after I got hit by the zombie? It's all back to normal now. That was one first aid kit that I applied to stop the bleeding, and I was like two-thirds of the way down. Stopped the bleeding and healed me back up already, so I am good to go, except for my broke-ass leg. Don't fall out of a second floor window. It hurts. Now, if you want to make antibiotics, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of, I'll grab all four of these stupid moldy breads. And I'll show you how to make those tomorrow. But right now, we're just going to get the hell away from this place and go do some more exploring. Because that's what we're doing. We're cruising around trying to explore things. If you notice, we can zoom out on the map. Move around. We can set waypoints, if you notice. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this road because our base is right here. And we've traveled already all the way up through here. That's why we got so much crap in our inventory. We found those three houses. But we're going to cruise through the woods along this little, uh, little highway, I would, I guess you might call it. When we need to make a new campfire, we'll pick up some more, you know. We'll pick up some more rocks. It's not a big deal. But anyway, I was talking about G602. You really need to get you a decent mouse. Because I will say this is probably the most comfortable mouse that I've ever put in my hand. Well. I've had a couple of comfortable mice, but in recent years anyway. The 705 that comes with my... Uh, my M17 keyboard and mouse setup. Those are good. But this one is really an actual gamer mouse. It reminds me a lot of the uh, M502. And the M4, or not M, it's the G502 Proteus with the shape of it, of its body. It's not a Proteus. 
the Proteus is a wired mouse, and it, it looks like it's a very, very comfortable mouse. But as far as the shape of the body and everything goes, it does remind me a lot of the uh, the way the Proteus looks. And they also have a 402 uh, mouse that's very nice as well. But yes, I've I've been very pleased with Logitech products, and apparently I'm going to be pleased even into the future. I've had this thing a month. And like I said earlier, if you want to hear, see a review, leave me a comment down below. Also, you know, on any equipment that I use, I have been using my... Uh, been using my microphone, my uh, mixer, all that good stuff. I've been using that for a couple of years now. And it works great. I'm not changing it. It's not an... Uh, it's not an issue when I have sound problems with my sound setup. It's actually an issue with the software inside the stupid computer because I'm still using Windows like a dumbass. But, you know, all the games play on Windows. So what do you do? No, actually Windows 8 is probably the best operating system they've come out with. It just looks sketchy with the, uh, with the, and with the uh, Windows phone freaking tiles. But as far as Windows itself, the underlying operating system, it is rock solid and fast as hell. And I will tell anybody that says differently that they're full of shit. Because they just don't like the way it looks. Well, you know what? Make it look the way you want it to. It's still Windows. It's still customizable. I use uh, Rain Meter for the desktop customization and I also run a classic shell to get my start button back the way it was in Windows 7. It looks very similar to Windows 7. So all you naysayers that say I don't like the new Windows 8. Well you know what it's not going to be Windows 7 forever. They've already stopped supporting the crap. So you're either going to have to get with the program and use something they're not going to support anymore are you something you are going to support? Or are you just going to be out in the wind? Flapping your gums saying you don't like it. When all you had to do was get used to it. You know, I hated it when I first started too. I didn't like the tiles. I hated 8.0. .8 Windows 8.0 suck balls as far as usability on a desktop computer. But Windows 8.1? Yeah, it works great. It's freaking awesome. So that was my little rant on the people that they say about Windows 8. Yes, it does work. It works well and it works quick. You know, it is not an issue with Windows 8. It's an issue with the people that don't want to change. We've been using Windows for how many years? You know, I've been using a Windows-based computer ever since there was Windows 3.0. And we're getting into the wasteland, which is good. This means that we can actually set up another little mini base. It's only 757. So we're going to go ahead and cap this off here after we get these zombies down probably in another minute or two. But yeah, if I do my job with this mouse and keyboard, the mouse and keyboard respond and do their job. And there's a spitter. Alright. got the spitter that's what we wanted now we'll go see what kind of bonus prizes we have inside of it we don't care about the stupid flashlights we do care about the shotgun shells actually we got better stuff out of the, the other zombies than we did him this time usually they get you get some really you know like a shit ton of ammo really you're trying to sneak up on me like that really seriously We are going to take this, and we're going to shoot the dog in the head. Down, Rover. Sit, Ubu. And there is a zombie right over this hole here. 
that we just shot in the head. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn the light off because we don't need that light anymore right now. But there are spitters in the wasteland. And the spitters are much more aggressive than they used to be in the past. They will come find you and they will chase you. They're not the happy-go-lucky spitters from back in the old days. Look at the bee. Chill. Alright, well that sounds like it's time for us to get off of here. Go ahead and shut that off. There we go. We're going to go ahead and finish this zombie horde that is trying to spawn around us. Because we're just badass enough to take them like that. Oh, another spitter. Let's see what he's got for us. He had a shotgun and some shotgun shells, which is welcome for the next spitter that shows up. Come on, Missy. There you go. Walk right into the bullet. Thank you. Very nice. They did fix the candlesticks and the brass items, like the brass doorknobs and shit. They fixed those to stack at 64 now, so you don't have, you're not stuck with that stupid 10. The other stuff. Stacks and, uh, the things like cloth and crap, they stack up into 250. And I've got an entire horde right on my ass, if you notice. Don't need that. Wow. Really, girl champ. Girlfriend, talk to the gun. But you can only stack honey in 10. Still. So if I'm pinching, I'm getting on that. Don't hit me. Alright. Let's go see what we can exchange for this food here. We can exchange nothing for that food because we don't care about lamb cuts. Lamb cuts are not an issue. He's an issue. Alright, we're going to have to find some more ammo also. Which is easy. We can make more ammo. All we got to do is make some bullets. We got bullet casings and we just need to make some other stuff. We got plenty of lead. We can, we can survive. It's not like a mission critical thing that we have to go back to uh, our base for ammo. Plus, I would almost bet that there's a city right over here, just chock completely full. suck at shooting, apparently. Yep, we're out of ammo. It's alright. We're going to go ahead and cut the video right here because it is 8 o'clock in the morning. We're going to explore the wasteland tomorrow. 
Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace out. This is Drew signing off.